Hi guys, this is Paul Spooner. I am playing Satisfactory Early Access CL number 95718. And here we are in the rocky desert biome. And here is my monstrous, horrible base. This is the first time I've ever played Satisfactory. I wasn't in the Early Access beta or anything. So, uh,. I guess this is the early access beta, but I wasn't in the alpha weekend or whatever. Uh, so this is the first time I played, and, and this is what I came up with for my base. This is just horrible. Just just terrible. But you know what? It works. So I was going to give you guys a tour. Um, first off, kind of an overview. Uh, oil production. There's a uh, docking bay there. Oil fields are actually over here. In fact, you can see, you can see one right there. There's one of the oil mines. Or wells, oil wells. Uh, and I've got a bridge going from over here to here, and then there's a, a truck that runs up uh, up here and drops off. In fact, there it is! Oh, look at that! You can notice it's real slow because it's in the distance and it doesn't have to update real quick. So there it goes, it stops and unloads just all the oil and uh, then processes over there. This is the same thing, only for steel. Steel processing is over that away. I don't know if you can see it. You might be able to see a little... Yeah, there's the depot right there. That's the depot. And then uh, down there is all my coal power plants. So there's oil fuel plants over there, and coal power plants over here. And there's basically no power plants over here, because all the power is generated in the outposts. So, uh, heavy space frames three lines, let's see, one, yeah, one, two, three lines for um, reinforced plates to go over here to the modular frames, which then get transported over here to get turned into heavy frames. Uh, this is my Caterium, which is the produced from that outpost over there. So Caterium comes in here. Uh, I just transport it manually at this point. And uh, Steel, or no, steel, iron, iron stuff. So here's uh, my iron mines, and it just goes everywhere. It's, like I said, it's terrible. Um, but it goes all over the place, and there's iron processing everywhere. I've got, I think, bars and plates. I think that's right. Uh, a couple of screw factories, and then this is my computer line with the uh, screw factory there, and... Um, these are all processing plastic because you need lots of plastic for computers. And what else is over there? Uh, chips. No, circuit boards. Yeah, circuit boards. Circuit board factory. And then this is my wire. So, uh, three wire plants go in here into the wire box cable. Uh, motors. And of course, the space elevator. Could be anywhere, but I put it over there because it's kind of out of the way. It doesn't get in the way. Oh, and then there's the copper mine. So that's basically that's basically the whole thing. I guess we'll just go and run over and, and take a look at the uh, the steel factory and the oil factory. Let's go. So this is a pretty neat game. I, I like it a lot. It has just enough complexity that it's challenging without being so much complexity that it's daunting. And. Uh, I like how some of the technology is kind of hidden, like the Caterium line is all just like, well, if you discovered Caterium, great. If not, then, uh, you know, maybe maybe you don't ever get Caterium or fancy boots or whatever. Uh, what else have we got? So here's my automated uh, tractor. Tractor line is over here. The tractor is here because you get steel first, so you get a tractor first. And so I put the tractor on the, on the automated run. I'm not sure, but I think I might be able to outrun a tractor in these Blade Runners. Maybe not. But it's almost as fast. They're pretty handy. Mm. I'm not sure what else to talk about. So, the uh, a lot of the, the factories I've seen on YouTube are like fancy, giant, you know, three-story factories and stuff. And as you can see, mine is just like Nightmare Tangle factory. But, you know, it doesn't actually make it work any better to be on the foundations. Um, 
and in some ways they constrain you. Now, probably I could make it a lot more compact that way, and maybe it would even look cooler, but it would take more time. This whole thing took me, I think, about 24 hours to, to get all the way to the end game here. And here we are. Here's my steel plant. And there's the iron and coal. And here is my coal generator outpost. Not that many. It's only, what, five, eight? Eight of them? Yeah. So that's it. That's all that's over here. Just a steel plant, and then the steel comes down here and it's loaded in the depot. I could probably make another one, but, you know, it's fast enough. That's fine. And then, let's see here, bridgehead. I wonder if we could just go over land. I've never taken this way. Let's, let's see what happens. Maybe I'll die horribly. Oh, apparently I have been here before. What is this? Oh yeah, there's the Caterium outpost. So it's kind of been, kind of been over here. It's very pretty. And the map is so big, I haven't really gotten to the. Well, I went on a, a little trip to get some, some stuff. Ooh, there's a cave. It's neat. I'll explore that at some point. But first, I'm showing off the base. So the progression in the game is, is pretty straightforward. You get uh, a resource, and then you have you need some parts that are made from that resource, and so you have to build some automation. And then automation lets you get a bunch of parts, that let you unlock a new resource, or a new uh, level of complexity of resources, anyway. And it's pretty much just that, just repeats that over and over. Uh-oh, am I going to have to fall in the water? Nah, I'm not going to fall in the water. Water's for chumps. Well, maybe a little bit of water. Um, it sounds like a monster. Let's not stop to see what kind of monster it is. So I put a beacon down at the bridgehead because when I was trucking over here, I didn't want to get lost and have to redo the autopilot several times. So down the beacon, and that turned out pretty well. And look at this. Now I can show you my bridge. So when I explored over here, I did it on foot first. Or did I? Yeah, yeah, I did it on foot first. I uh, walked all around and figured out, kind of planned out what I wanted. Then came back and built this. It's a handy little, handy little bridge. Um, hmm. Maybe not quite finished. There. There, handy little bridge. And, uh... Then I went around this big lake and found that the oil is on an island, I think. So I just built a giant bridge. Because who has time to go around? So here's my giant bridge with power lines. Everything is hooked on one power grid. It's, it's just one giant unified grid. And I've got so much extra capacity. So much capacity. Because you never want to run out. Running out is, is also for chumps. Very pretty. Very pretty game. So I've got a fuel refinery back at the at the main base, and that one fuels the truck for the steel line, and then the oil over here, I've got a fuel refinery that fuels my generators, and that also tops off the truck. So there's the truck there. There's my oil getting loaded up. Must have just made a run. And so I've packed that thing full of oil, and then also I put oil in the fuel refinery, and here's my, what, three fuel plants? And uh, there's another, whoop, there's another spot there that I've got a, a well on, but I, I don't actually have it hooked up. And there's a refinery that's not hooked up to anything either, because I don't really need that much fuel. And uh, yeah, that's basically it, that's the whole base. That is what I used to get all the way to the endgame content 
for the beta currently. Early access beta. So there's not much left but to explore stuff. Um, got Caterium. I don't think you can get anything else further than Caterium at this point. Uh, got the jetpack, got the Blade Runners, got the gas masks. So, uh, yeah. Looking forward to more content and, uh, and maybe exploring a bit. But there you go. There's an ugly base, but it works.